can come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika's den. I am Tamika. Get on in here, y'all. Get on in here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. You are now in the den. So, guys, this is Power Book 2. Oh, child. Season 4, Episode 5, Ego Death, mid-season finale. Before the break, we don't come back to September, baby. Okay, this is a big, rich sale. I just came from the poorest part. Listen, y'all trying to tell me is the Ego Death who, whose ego is bigger out here? Who Who's really doing the most? Because y'all trying to convince me, Power, that the hottest is the hottest, the biggest, the baddest in the streets of New York. Baby, what the hell are we doing here, Mom? They out here with a freaking mink, okay? Spraying the block with the hammer, with the Mary J. Blush boots on. Y'all trying to tell me that Kane is the king of New York? Y'all trying to tell me that Kane is getting in the boxing ring, beating down Zion, who is a trained fighter, who have to pull out brass knuckles to do the bop, 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 wop, wop, wop on him. Now, speaking of Jag on Zion, honey, I was here for you reading freaking Noma behind down, telling her, go sit your behind by the window, look at the skyline, okay, check out Queensboro Bay. Queens Barrow Bridge, bitch. This my city, okay? I runs the block. Like, what are we doing here, okay? Tariq talking about he want to be on top. The best part of this episode for me, baby, was the dream, was the days, was the, you know, acid of it all, okay? Tariq over here having his visions and nightmares and, baby, everybody talking about you lying while you saying you want to be on top. Diana want to know where Salami is, girl. Salami is over here. About to be bones, okay? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Salim is up out of here. He is no more. You can kiss it. Goodbye, girl. Okay, get ready for the funeral. Put your old black on like the Omi. Oh, you already know Tariq took him out. You the one that basically put him in damn danger, girl. Like, what are we even talking about? Why are we asking questions that we know the answers to? And can y'all please tell me why all of a sudden every single show want to be like, you get sickle cell, you get sickle cell, you get sickle cell, you get sickle cell. Okay, listen, let's spread awareness. Go red for September because sickle cell awareness month is out there, child. Let's talk the real facts on it, okay? Not this phony baloney crap that they be trying to throw around on these shows. I think the one that got it the closest may be Supercell. Shout out to them. But yeah, y'all going to stop playing in my damn face, okay? <laughs> what was y'all favorite part of this episode, y'all? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Because a lot of people were saying it wasn't hitting like it was supposed to. I was okay with this because one thing I told y'all that I'm going to tell y'all that I'm going to always tell y'all is that when Michael Ely steps on the scene, okay, Mr. Light Eyes, baby Detective Carter Light Eyes was over here talking to his dead wife, talking about, girl, do you know where I put this at? Oh, never mind. I found it. You know, I'm going to see you later, baby. I said, where you going to see her at in the damn grave, Detective Carter? More than likely, you probably are, okay? Drew over here talking about this, his last job. He going to do this damn painting baby you gonna be hanging up you gonna be the painting you gonna be the art it's gonna be you with your body with your blood dripping that's gonna be your last piece as you exit out and we say peace to you okay and child monet how the hell you a damn boss girl and you ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no connect. You ain't got no drugs. You got to get out here and do a whole damn robbery, which is how your ass get caught up in the first damn place. What are we doing here, y'all? What are we doing here? But what we doing is going ahead to get into this episode, break it on down, take it from the top. You know how we do. Oh, Lord have mercy. Child, Tariq was over here, didn't even remember how he got home last night, okay? Him and Ayana was bumping and grinding and doing the damn things, and y'all didn't even tell me how much I was chopping up this child's name. Not that it really matters, because I don't think, you know, she's that damn important, to be honest, but I'm just saying. So, yeah, he done went home with her. They done been doing the boop de boop de boo and he waking up don't even remember half of what the hell happened the night before. Because he was throwing back them damn shots. And, um, you know, she was up and already getting ready, ready to go. And he was basically like, you know, oh, you leaving already? And when I'm going to see you again? And she over here, oh, you know, don't worry. It was what it was. It is what it is. You ain't got to call me. Okay, you ain't got to call. But he basically was like, you know, put your number in because we do these parties, you know, on a regular. And we can let you know where the next spot is. And you can come through with your girls. And she like, okay, cool. So we get on over here to braid and come to find out this chick is taking mad. Okay, because apparently she have sickle cell, which of course Braden, you know, have no damn clue about, never heard about it before in his damn life. 
And not only does she take her medicine for it, but then she's mixing street drugs with it too. So yeah, we might not see her get pop, 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 even though I think that she definitely needs to, uh, cause she got to go. Okay. There's no question about that, but I could definitely see her ass ending up ODing because girl, what are we doing? We mixing street drugs, you know, medical drugs. Mm -mm, it's just not going to work. So she's telling him, don't tell nobody about it because you know, they be trying to treat her like she's just, you know, a piece of glass. And he ain't got to worry about her saying nothing about nothing. You know, we were all on the same page. woop de woop de woo Diana over here calling up damn side salami talking about, boy, where you been at? I haven't heard from you, you know, since I was over there. I said, girl, right now, Salim is freaking froze, okay? He froze, he cold, he dead. Give it up, girl. Give it up. Turn it damn loose. Now, Monet made this big-ass breakfast because, of course, every time we having a meeting, we want to eat. And I said, bitch, what'd be wrong with y'all? Because y'all always leave the food there to get cold. Like, send that damn food on over here to me, okay? And Kane come in with some, you know, I can forgive, but I can't forget. I ain't messing with y'all no more. Uh, dear Diana, don't keep the baby. I heard, you know, but that's going to be the biggest mistake out your life. You know, get out of my damn face or whatever the case may be, right? And Drew is saying, yeah, nah, I'm on there. I'm good. I don't want to, you know, be here. She keeps talking about how she can fix it. She can fix it. She can fix it. So she's sitting down and swearing the oath to Diana that, you know, we are going to be as one. I promise you, no matter what, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be here for this baby. This is a, you know, time that could be a new release on your damn life. You could start all over fresh and um i'm gonna be the best grandmother in the world i said monet i doubt that very much right and diana said yeah bitch i doubt it too okay monet i don't think that you got what it takes to make that happen okay you may want to get it happen and get us back on the right track but i don't see where that could happen so she go ahead and she leave now Tariq and Brayden is over here playing a damn game and Tariq having a fit throwing a controller and you know Brayden was like listen I ain't got no money no more you throwing my expensive <laughs> controller I can't replace it like I used to be able to like what's really going on with you so he's basically of course first of all just finding out that that was Anya Noma's daughter okay he didn't even know he talking about I thought her face looked familiar why the hell would you be playing in her face when we supposed to be staying clear of Noma then he, of course, is like, Diana is pregnant, and she's pregnant with my baby. And <laughs> Raiden had me dying laughing when he was like, why, when did y'all have sex last semester, right? And I don't understand how this happened, because um, it only was one time. And, of course, we're going to say the line that we always say, Tariq, it only take one time, you big damn dummy, okay? You should have been making sure you had that strap on, okay? So, now, anyway... You know, he's saying um, all of this is, you know, he can't believe he don't even understand how it's possible and he don't know what to do. So, Brayden is like, okay, number one, go speak to Diana, focus on that, see what's happening with that. And number two, we need to be focused on this damn business. We ain't got time for you to be running around with Anya, so stay away from that, right? So, he like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's my focus for right now. Now... <clears throat> He go and, um, you know, because we definitely don't want no, you know, sniffing around here. That's the last thing that we need. Now, you know, he go and have a conversation with Diana. We trying to talk in the middle of the damn hall where people is walking back and forth and we got to keep moving out their way. We end up in the same little storage area where her and, um, you know, Effie was talking before. And bottom line is we don't really know what we want to do. Diana don't want to know whether she want to keep it or not. You know, he's saying you can't just say sorry. You put my mom in danger. I'm not going to forgive you. She like, okay, you're not going to forgive me. I'm not going to forget you. And that still doesn't change the fact that I'm pregnant. And, you know, I could be potentially having your damn baby. You know, how do you know it's mine? Are you sitting here playing in my face? What do you mean? If you don't want to be bothered with the baby, you ain't got to be bothered with the baby. And all I know is that I don't want my baby to be in this life. I'm going to get out this life i'm gonna change my life whoop -dee -whoop -dee -whoop. so he's basically like you know she telling him that she gonna let him know when she find out what the hell she want to do now anya get her ass home only for no to be standing in the hallway and basically be like girl where the hell you been all night you know she asking her what she doing here and telling her she don't need her to be you know protective of her anymore right whoever was coming after her father is more likely still back in um 
you know, Paris or whatever, they're not going to be coming there because Noma found out that she ditched her security last night and talking about, still, you don't know the danger you put in me. And then, you know, Anya talking about quit the damn dramatics, okay? Whoever wanted us, stay back in Italy. I'm living my best life out here and I wish you would stop showing up at my damn door. So, of course, when she's looking for her keys, she drops the dag on drugs, okay? And Noma's like, what is this? Are you doing drugs and you know what I pay all this money for? Not for you to go and get her. So she like, ma, it's no big deal. I just do it sometimes to relax. And, you know, I got it from a party at Stansfield last night. It was just for fun. And, um, you know, I didn't even get to use any of it. So, of course, this already lets Monet know. I mean, Noma know that, you know, people over here selling stuff on the side, of course, like they shouldn't be. And she goes and talks to Effie to find out, girl, you know, you've been doing some stuff on the side. You the one that that's supposed to be your spot. You supposed to handle it. And she like, yeah, girl, but I don't know what you're talking about because I haven't been selling anything on the side. And that's not mine. And Noma's like, oh, okay, I'm going to handle this. Of course, we know it got to be Tariq St. Pat. Who the hell else is going to be? Now, Drew over here reminiscing, looking at damn freaking art on the damn wall. This lady come over to him like, oh, are you an artist too? And he shows her his, you know, one of his paintings. And she like, I see the potential. If you come and, you know, drop some stuff off, then, you know, maybe we could end up putting, you know, something of yours up. So now Drew thinking he about to go live his damn life as an artist. Not... Now, Zion is questioning freaking Brayden, and he's basically like, um, yeah, something is going down, you know. Yeah, Sammy since I came around, now all of a sudden, one minute, the you know, Russians was pressing, the next minute, they miss it. You know, they ain't saying nothing no more. We know there's some other things going on in the street, and I know you know what's happening, so go ahead and speak up, because one thing we're not going to have is no lies and secrets up and around here, okay? You going to tell me the truth. I see you bubbling. I see you wanting to say something. I see you knowing something something you know was on the verge the tip of your damn tongue just go ahead and spit it out because i'm not gonna have no people keeping shit from me so Braden is like if i tell you this you can't tell nobody either okay and zion says yeah it works both ways and Braden is basically like oh well you know if i have to say something i don't really know you know we don't mess with her or nothing but the word on the street is there's a chick named noma that's coming out here you know, that's taking over stuff, okay? You didn't hear it from me. And he's over here squeezing Braden almost the damn dev talking about, oh, okay, I believe you. Yeah, that worked for me, you know, good looking, okay? Little tiny, tim <laughs> tiny Tommy. I said, okay, that's my new name for Braden from this point forward, okay? Tiny Tommy. Now, child, you know, he also had told um Zion that he never got to know Ghost, but he do know Tariq and he know when Tariq say he gonna do something he do something, you know, when he hit, he don't miss and all of that now, Tariq over here chilling at the damn school, and I'm like saying do you see who I see, Tariq? okay, are you looking? Because no more walking in, and Tariq just stood there just as cool as ice, you know, waited, walked up to her like, hey, how you doing? and she talking about, you know, I told you not to mess with nothing, and you just couldn't help Help yourself. I knew that you was going to still come out here and be trying to do something. Come on, let's go. Okay, wrap it up. We got to put you in your damn grave because you ain't listen to me and you ain't keep your part of the bargain. And Tariq is like, what the hell are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. It's just a damn party. And of course, Tariq and Kane want to always swear he damn smart. I'm on to you, okay? I know your tricks. He pull out one of the bottles and look at the bottom of the cup. And he like, yeah, you still doing something. And Tariq is like, no, I'm not. But, of course, Anya comes walking in at this same time. So, Tariq literally walks into her as they supposedly walking him out. And, basically, she like, Mom, what you doing here? And she's like, what are you doing here? And Tariq going to pretend to be shocked. Anya, this is your mother? Oh, wow, I had no idea. Isn't that something? So, of course, she don't want Anya knowing her damn business. She hurry up and walk her out. When Kane is saying, you know, I can handle it, just give me the word, because this is what I've always been waiting on. My life will be complete once I kill Tariq St. Patrick. Um, she basically is like, nah, now I gotta be chill. I can't really go hard. My world's is getting a little too close together, whatever, right? And so I gotta move very carefully, whatever I do in my next move. And she go ahead and get into the car with Anya, and Kane is just standing there with the stupid last look on his face looking at them. Now, child, 
Tariq go back here to try to let Brayden know what's going on because he's asking everybody where Brayden at. Brayden back here sniffing the damn cocoa, 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 cocoa. And of course, Tariq is going off like, when the hell did you start this? Like, yo, boo, you, you really messing the hell around. He was like, first of all, you know you never supposed to get high on your own damn supply. Then you have, you know, um, Brayden little boo come out from the back and she's basically like, oh no, you ain't got to stop talking. You know, I know everything that's going on. And Tariq is like, you got to be kidding me. He said, well, she just figured it out on her own. I, and she ain't going to say nothing. He like, bro, the first time y'all get into something and y'all break up, she is going to say something. She talking about you calling me a snitch. She said, well, I'm calling you a damn snitch, a hoe, and a damn freaking druggie, okay? <laughs> now let me stop. He ain't say all of that. But he basically was like, you know, this ain't somebody that we could damn trust. He was like, what the hell is she talking about? He said, you really going out and doing too much shit now. You being too damn extra. You bugging out. You losing your damn mind. So... Brayden is basically like, look, you deal with things your way, I deal with them my way. You know, every time I turn around, you always make it everything about you. You make your life seem like it's more important. You know, I done sacrificed and gave up a whole bunch of stuff for you and right over, right? And he was like, you know, I done lost my family and everything. And every time we turn around, all you think about is yourself and your life and what you got going on or whatever, right? And so... You know, my whole life is falling apart and I can't even talk about it with you because every time I turn around, you only thinking about what's happening with you. And so Tariq is like, okay, well, you just have to freaking chin up and, you know, bear it. Like, take it on the chin the same way I do. And he's like, well, I'm not you. And Tariq is like, yeah, you right. You're not me. I mean, at the end of the day, honestly, they both were saying the truth to each other, okay? But I did like that conversation. Now, we move on over in... Tariq, I mean, Drew comes because Monet calls him or whatever, right? And she's saying she want to have this meeting with him. And they basically, um, you know, he walks away and he end up being like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Because she was like, oh, I just want to make things right between us or whatever. But we still with the whole, you know, family first and um, I want to get the business back. Like, we pretty much still saying the same thing, right? Family is my priority. And Drew is telling her, still calling her out. Like, you full of crap. You always sing that song. You using damn words that, um, you know, Poppy used to always say after you took damn Poppy out. And it's really nothing to you. You don't mean nothing that's coming out of your damn mouth. You basically have a whole lot of damn audacity or whatever, right? And you want to make it seem like that, but it really doesn't even phase you. It don't mean shit. It's just, you know, a phrase that you're using. It's like if you're singing a song and you're basically, you know, using this to manipulate us, right? It's all about the family business to you. And so, of course, she still is singing the same old song because she's like, oh, you know, the business was for the family. So he said, you just wanted to take us out yesterday. You had a whole hammer in my damn face just yesterday. But now all of a sudden you're going to act today like none of that never even happened. You know, you're the one that destroyed our family. So when he goes to walk out, she's like, you're right. You're right. You're right. Listen to me. You're right. <coughs> Everything you saying is true, okay? You know, and so he sits down because he's like, that's the first time she's ever said that to him, right? And she was like, you know, she's not your typical mother and she don't do things like other mothers do and she has always put the business first. But literally, as soon as he sits down, you know, she's like, I'm sorry or whatever. So, you know, she got him for a minute. He like, okay, you know, I've never heard you apologize. That is something, you know, you never said that before. The minute he sat down, she took him about, but Drew, I need your help. We need to get back to the business. I'm like, Lord, and he falls for the okie doke again. Like, you literally just finished saying how she manipulates you. And that's all it took for her to manipulate you all over again, right? So she's saying that they need some product. So my whole thing is, how are you so pressed, Monet, to so-called get back in the business, but you have no money, no product, no contact? Like, what are we doing here, girl? Just retire, sit your ass down somewhere. We and be a damn grandma like girl get out the streets so drew talking about he got an idea we waiting to see what the hell his idea is gonna be he's like he gonna help her this one last time or whatever and that's gonna be it after that he going to do his art and he leaving i said baby the only way you gonna be retiring is in your grave your damn grave drew okay you should have kept it moving so nonetheless he brings these two guys that supposedly been wanting to be down with the tahadas for a real long time and 
Well, they gonna go and they gonna do this robbery. Drew know the route. I was like, this was what y'all damn idea was? And we say we gonna do it tomorrow night. Okay, so when we get back over here to Brayden and his girl, he coming in like, oh, Tariq haven't been answering, you know, none of my calls. And she like, don't worry about it. Just come, you know, chill with me, hang out with me or whatever. She was like, yeah, I needed that wake up call one time and he's gonna see things a lot more clearly or whatever, you know? And I really started seeing myself. So he like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean by that child why she done gave Tariq damn acid she talking about I slipped some acid in his freaking water he like what what are you talking about when did you do that <laughs> and she basically like oh when we was at the party so you know the club or whatever the hell y'all know what I mean so he go running trying to find Tariq and Tariq is in here like hey hello uh, what's going on? I don't know. And he passes out. So Tariq is basically seeing himself as himself, but then also seeing himself as his father. Of course, this was the vision that we kept seeing where, you know, he was in, you know, looking like he in Club Truth and looking like he got on the suit like James. And one minute he's seeing his son as a baby already born with Diana, right? Next minute he's seeing his son is literally like he's standing in, you know, James' spot, so to speak, ghost spot. And his son is coming to him, ready to take him out. We also have him in a room where is all the drugs behind him and He's sitting here still trying to make a sell, and you have Diana coming up like, you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied to me, right? You still in the game, and she's pulling up. So it's one of those situations, literally, like just how we see different people was coming after James. We have the different people coming after him, and then it's literally him standing in front of him with the hammer out, right? One minute we hugging each other, and the next minute we like, we know that it had to end this way. Now, I don't know how you go through all of that, and the, the outcome okay when you wake up and you come to and you like what's going on and Braden is like you know listen there's been something going around on campus where they've been drugging people you know they think it's a joke or whatever the case may be and I think somebody slipped you something mm -hmm. instead of just telling him the truth I guess he figured that more than likely Tariq would end up taking the girl out so he makes up a story that I think that's gonna come back to bite him but you know nonetheless so and when he comes to, he's basically like, you know, um, saying that now with him having this dream, he sees things a lot more clearly, right? And he feels like there's a part of him that's like his father. There's a part of him that's, you know, he gets from his father, good and bad. You know, he did things that he didn't understand, but he was right about one thing. And he got to be even better than him. And there's parts of him that's, you know, good and bad. And he got to bring all of them together, right, to make it do what it's doing. I'm like, okay, Tariq, that's what you got out of that? All right. Now, Diana over here lighting candles at the church, and this lady just so happens to already know that she's damn pregnant. She's saying she did to, you know, pray about her father, her brother, and her friend. So when she said her friend, I was assuming that that meant Salami, and she already knew what happened to him. Maybe I missed that. No, but, child, uh, anyway um Noma was over here thinking she having this business meeting and they come and tell her chick you gotta move this you know from this table or whatever somebody else that always come here that always get this table this is their table you know we sorry for the confusion we can move you to another table and Noma was trying to talk a big mess and be like nah y'all not moving me I ain't going nowhere and lo and behold Zion come and sit his ass down and was like yeah this is my table okay so when people like yourself come over and pop up and try to colonize okay I said not the 69 guy um you know we gotta you know make it do what it do we gotta remind them that we was here first and you can't just come over here you know thinking you own shit so you could go ahead and skedaddle and move on over there to the table because unfortunately for you noma you know i peed on every tree in manhattan i run this shit so of course you know Wiley is like, y'all know each other? And she like, nah, 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 we don't. And he was like, yeah, no, we don't. Then he take no my hand and lift her up, child. <laughs> And was like, make your way on over there, girl. Okay, you can see the sights of New York from there. Have a nice view. I said, I know that's right. I like that part, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. That just tickled me. So, nonetheless, of course, that pissed her off. And she come up to Kane like, how the hell is it he, that he's, you know, running up on me? You know, this Zion guy 
guy and um davis comes behind too and he they both saying they know him and davis is like nah let me go handle it but kane is like nah let me handle it no davis no security you know we gonna go and no one okay so you know davis says he gonna go talk to wally and clean up stuff on that part so he bringing Noma here. Now, Miss Noma supposed to be big, bad, but all of a sudden, we shaking, we quaking. Oh, should we be here? Are you sure it's okay? Are you sure it's no security? And Kane is like, yeah, like, I'm, you know, when you with me, when you with Kane Tahada, I'll run these streets. Everybody know me. Plus, this is like a neutral territory where they can't bring no, you know, weapons or any of that. You know, he used to be a fighter here, and now he owns here, here you know, breaking down um zion backstory so she go up and he go approaching zion now first we all hey what's up kane and i'm sorry about your dad and much respect you know to you and the tahadas and he like are you sure because i've been hearing that you've been violating this my woman and zion was like oh i didn't know you messed with this bitch okay you know <laughs> went over here to get the rags the richest chick so you know, of course, we still trying to be like, put some respect on my name and all of that. Because Kane was saying, you questioning her, you questioning me. So, Noma gonna stop in. Now, she done grew her heart back, okay? Her heart done grew three damn inches. And she popped back in and was like, uh, first of all, I don't need no man to talk, you know, for me or whatever. You know, put some respect on my name. Don't be calling me out my name. And he like, okay, you one of them feminist bitches. <laughs> I didn't know, sweetheart. So now Kane is like, let's take it inside the cage. And he like, oh, you sure you want to run with me? Like, oh, okay. So we know we going against the fourth circle OG. Okay, now we got Dougie fresh in the building. I said, yes, yes, y'all. Yeah, okay, teach me how to Dougie. Teach, teach, teach. Oh, no, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so we get in here and we fighting. I say, you know what? Y'all really playing damn games with me. Okay, the, the damn Kane done got the freaking secret serum. Because all of a sudden, you know, he's talking about, I'm a further too. Because even no more was questioning like how the hell you gonna go up some against somebody that's a professional fighter so we get in the cage all right we giving the one twos one twos you know Kane was getting a little something there all of a sudden he get the upper hand and zion gotta go and get some brass knuckles to give it to him <sighs> whatever so we leaving and noma is impressed because of course Kane ends up winning by a technicality i was like i guess whatever at least they didn't make it where you know zion beat him down but i still was just like whatever with that whole part now you know she's leaving they impressed or whatever so now um Tariq is like you know i'm on you know focused on what i'm focused on now right if i'm gonna be a father then i gotta do shit right i said okay Tariq, well what's doing it right okay what is your definition of doing it right we know we never wanted to admit the things that were similar about our father we never wanted to admit the things that he actually you know said that was good or did that was right right so now we want the good parts of him they want we want the bad parts of him like i was saying you know we want all the parts of us we're gonna put them all together we're gonna be this apex predator Child, I'm gonna be on top. I said, That's what you got on all of this to be. Mm. Okay. Now, he go talk to Diana. And Diana's like, You know, everybody's been giving me their opinions. I heard get rid of it. I heard keep it. I'm keeping it. But in order for me to keep it, I know that I have to give that part of the life up. I'm not gonna, you know, have anything to do with that at all. That's a wrap for me. So she's like, you know, I'll go for my ultrasound tomorrow if you want to come. Because she was telling him, like, you don't have to be bothered. And he's saying, no, he had time to think too. And he all in this. So now we on the same page. We going for this ultrasound. We going to see what's happening and shaking and baking with this baby child. I said, okay, cool. Now, we see freaking, um old detective carter at the house he's talking about babe you know where i put my lip balm at i'm like who you talking to detective carter because i thought your wife was dead oh i got it and then he over here babe uh i'ma see you later picking up his badge and his gun and everything i'll be back soon with the cheese and smile on his face i said oh yeah this mother crazy 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 okay he cuckoo for cocoa pops yeah he ain't the average damn crazy he lock him up put him in a damn vest crazy okay so then we see her picture on the wall i'm trying to examine that shit but i didn't recognize her but i know she's a definitely a damn actor that has been in a lot of other shows but i didn't recognize her from power but y'all put it in the comments if y'all got any tea on it so nonetheless um you know, Tariq was still trying to message Anya and be like, can he see her? And she said, nah, not right now, but maybe this weekend. 
And Davis comes back to give Noma the update. Wink, wink, wink. And she like, what you doing back? He's saying how he took care of everything with Wally and things is going to move forward. And she offered him this glass of wine. And he like, you know, here's the thing seen and unforeseen. She said, unforeseen? He said, yeah, you ain't seen this D yet. Okay. And picked her up in the air. I said, oh, okay. She finally gave in. It was taking you too long, no more. But all right, girl. Now, um, child, <laughs> we basically... Um, see, you know, Tariq and, and Diana go get the ultrasound and she start asking him because she already said there's a boy and she gonna name it Lorenzo, girl, whatever, right? And, um, they have a conversation, of course, where she's like, do you know what happened to Salami? Okay, I have not seen or heard from him. I'm getting worried. Nah, yeah, I went and asked about him, but I don't know nothing. And she like, Tariq, you lying to me. And he like, nah, girl, I don't know nothing. I'm telling you. So he's saying that this is important to him too and he's going to take care of and protect his family, her, the baby and everything. But I'm going to be on top, baby. I ain't going to be leaving the game. And she said, nah, Tariq, I ain't got it to do. And she went and walked out. I said, Jesus Christ, whatever, y'all. Now, mind you, Tay had came and he had said that he knows some things and he wants to go and do some things. And they was like, no, you could go sit your behind down because isn't your brother a slime ball too? And he probably put you on and that's how you got your job. And Tay was like, hmm, something real suspicious going on here. That's y'all problem with me. And, you know, Detective Carter had told him, well, why don't you go and stay on Tariq and I'm going to stay on Monet because obviously we doing something right and he was like, Monet seems like she's the one that's at the top and she's been in the game for a minute. I'm going to keep her, you know, I, my eyes on her. That's the game plan. So he over here following and creeping and tracking behind Monet and them and they don't have a damn clue. They go ahead and take these daggone guys out. Like I said, Monet was out here. Okay, looking cute. And he coming over here with these nicknames, Detective Eyes, talking about Red. What's popping, girl? It's been a long time. Okay, I told you I was going to catch up with you. And she like, what the hell? What you want? And we over here like, you coming to arrest us? Oh, no, I, I, I ain't arresting you. I ain't arresting you. No, she look like she bought something. So he asking one of the guys what information he have or whatever and the guy talking about you know they were saying they was gonna take him into jail and he was like no nah, take her in you know uh she the boss and she was like you mf i knew you was a bitch damn like you can't even hold it down and then detective carter looked over at him and said wait ain't you the one that took out darian oh yeah you that mf that took out darian you pushed him over in the damn train tracks i recognize you i'll never forget a face darian james two years ago mm -hmm. he was 18 years old his father was over there weeping and crying and hollering and I couldn't do nothing to you know help him but I'm gonna help right now y'all can't give him back to his family cause you know he over here talking about how he wanna go back to his family he talking about no man that wasn't me and he said no I knew you I knew your damn face pow pow okay up out of here but I was like we don't care cause we don't know this dude we just met him 2.5 seconds ago but okay detective Carter I see you so now he like now that we have an understanding Standing, he tell Monet and Drew, y'all are free to go. We're going to be working and y'all going to be giving us 35% because I got to pay my peoples too. We about to be business partners out here in the street. So y'all go ahead and get to work. Get on up out of here so you can get me my money. I said, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That basically was the episode, y'all. That's what was happening out here in these daggone streets, child. Oh, what did y'all think about this one? Because I see some people going in really, really hard talking about it was wiggity, 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 whack. But give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you are so inclined, give me a wave. Let me know you came by. Put some flames up in the sky. Till next time, y'all. Toodaloo.